Alrighty guys, so I'm here at the Branson dealership to pick myself up a tractor. Got it hooked up to the trailer. We are ready to go do some work. Here in a minute, I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that I plan to do with it. Uh, the reason why I got the Prana Bar, the Grapple, and the Rock Rake. Um, you know, I'm fairly new to this tractor world, uh, but it's gonna be fun and I'm excited. And uh, there's some reasons why I instead just went and bought a brand new tractor instead of maybe buying a used one or renting equipment to do the uh, jobs I wanted to do around the house. But I'll uh, do another video on all that and uh, get you guys updated here shortly. Hey guys, so I want to show you a little bit about some of the projects I'm wanting to do with the tractor. And as you can see, I've just, I've got this whole side of my yard that I had somebody come and grade out with a skid steer and before that it was woods and stumps. I had somebody, I cut the trees myself, but I had somebody come and rip out all the stumps. Um, and then the skid steer work, I still am left with this huge dirt mound in the back that you can see and there's, it's full of stumps. And I was like, I'm going to get, I'm already 1500 in and I don't even have a yard yet. And this out here, like all this dirt is full of rocks and it was full of, full of roots. So I got, I got stuff to get the rocks and roots out. And, um, so we're going to see how it goes. Morning guys. Today we're going to be tackling the pile. So I, there's, there's a bunch of roots in there, stumps, rocks. Um, I'm going to be using the grapple and the bucket to spread out or actually the grapple to get all the, the big stuff out the bucket with the the teeth on it to spread the dirt and then i'll be using the rock rake to get the rest of the debris so we'll see if those three different implements will allow me to save this pile of dirt uh it was going to cost me about 700 dollars. i was quoted to have the dirt hauled off but then i have to have more dirt brought in um i mean i'm going to have some new dirt brought in anyways but I was like, I'm just going to save the money of hauling off stuff that I could probably sift and clean out. Um, I just thought that was a better use of, of the dirt. So uh, we'll see if the loader will do it. All right, guys. So we're going to be using the Branson 3015H. So the 30 is for 30 horsepower. The 15 is for the 15 series. And the H is for hydrostatic. I'm going to do a quick walk around of the machine, show you some of its capabilities, and then we're going to get to action. All right, so let's do a quick walk around of the machine. Um, this is the, the 3015. Uh, it's four wheel drive. I got a, I've got a couple of different attachments. I got what's called a third function. Third function uh, it allows me to operate a uh, have have lift capabilities on a, a grapple, kind of like you would on a skid steer. Um, and that third function is built into the handle that operates the loader. So it's a great feature. I've already been using it a little bit to get some stumps and trees out of the pile. And you'll see some more of that functionality here in just a minute. Uh, I'm going to do a real in-depth review and walk through the machine later today. Uh, but for now, you're just going to get to see it in action.
guys uh just a little update here i've been trying to dig into that hill or that pile with the front end loader and even with the piranha bar that dirt is very dense right now and it's been sitting out for two months uh it's not loose so what i'm gonna do is i'm glad i have a grapple i'm just gonna tear it apart with the grapple and loosen it up because it's uh i'm not using the loader appropriately it's i'm having to to use a lot of force to try to get in there and break it up and this i'm uh i don't like hearing the hydraulics uh you know whine so uh the better use is i'll get the grapple i'll just tear it apart with that and uh we'll go from there <sighs> it's a quick tip i uh to let all the pressure out of the system by lowering the arms all the way turn the machine off to get the hydraulic hoses uh, there's still some pressure in there and uh, I should have just turned it off to begin with so next time you think time I'm doing anything with the, the grapple and the hydraulic hoses it'll be off and no pressure because you just can't crush the fittings and there's too much pressure there Hey everyone, I want to give a little update on the tractor, some of the work that I got done today. Put in a little over four hours, like 4.2 hours on the machine. Um, some of the things that you know I kind of learned is I did not have the machine in low range when I was doing digging or loader work. And when I was in like mid range, I was like, it just, it's not digging, but my totally my fault. Um, I looked down I was like oh well throw it in low range and then it would it would plow through everything and dig and um, I was really impressed with the amount of loader work I was able to do after that um, the grapple as I suspected worked really well for tearing the pile down got all the stumps and just broke it up really well but now that I'm in low range it all I should be able to use the bucket and just tear the rest of the pile down uh, the rock rake worked really well for spreading stuff around and then I'm going to get the rest of the rocks up out of the yard. Uh, so just little stuff here and there um, and then tear that pile down. And then I got to burn all the stumps, cut them down. But um, I've just done, I, I did just a visual check after the end of the today of the machine. I'll check all the fluids and everything. I did not uh, wash the machine but I blew it off. You know, like lawnmowers, stuff like that. I've never washed them. I've always taken high pressure air or compressed air and blown them off. Um, just because you don't want water getting under in all the bearings and everything. And this is, to me, this is similar if you want to wash it, whatever. But um, the rain, I'm sure, will get some of the rest of it off. But after I use it every day, I'm just going to blow it off with some, some air. Um, so I did, I greased all the joints. 
um, checked you know all the the grease fittings for the axle and everything I think there's n there's nine grease fittings that are labeled or in the owner's manual um, otherwise I've been really happy with the machine um, only time will tell if I have any issue with the DPF system or not I don't think I will I ran it at like 3,000 rpm today while I was doing loader work um, and I just it should burn everything off at that at that RPM. I don't think it'll have a problem. But uh, the other thing is, <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I did a poor man's uh, awning for the seat. I just uh, s took some zip ties, big old zip ties, zip tied a uh, an umbrella up there to give me a little shade. It it gets really hot in this thing, and I honestly. You know, I understand now why people would want a cab and some AC because it just gets hot. Um, I will probably get an awning. The thing I'd really like to have is some ballast or some fluid in the tires. I think I'm just going to make my own windshield washer fluid. Um, there's no reason to. I have to buy a hundred dollars of washer fluid, but I could just make it. Um, it's water and some other like alcohol and some other chemical you know very light chemicals a little bit of dye or something um, I don't even have to put the dye in there and then maybe some there's a little bit of dishwashing detergent and then you make you know homemade uh, but I don't see the point paying a couple dollars for a jug of that stuff when I could just make it and what I'm gonna do is probably do a 50% fill on my rear tires and then a 50% fill on the front tires um, it'll make it a lot less jumpy I'm probably gonna air the tires down a little bit because when you're when I'm doing the loader work if I had I noticed a couple times when I'm angling down on a hill and especially when your rpms are revved up a lot if you you come up and it jerks at all you feel the back end kind of get light and I just, I don't like that at all. Um, I do have my rock rake on the rear. I'll, I will leave it on as kind of a counterbalance. So that's made it nice. Um, and I think that's a great tool because it's just been getting all the debris out of the yard. Uh, and it was breaking up stuff that you know, I didn't want to just, I didn't want to do with the loader. I was like, I'll just do it with a rock rake. And the rock rake does great. So um, I think the only other tool I would like to have that I might get is a box blade. Um, try to find one used somewhere and um, go put that on. See how that does. But uh, overall I'm really happy. Uh, if you have any questions or any concerns uh, you know or questions about the tractor or I'll be happy to try to answer them. I'm pretty new to the, the tractor world as I said in an earlier video but um, I'm really glad I did this because um, I, I've got kids and I there's no way that I would be able to have dedicate eight hours like if I rented a skid steer I could have done this job faster with one but I'm having to go inside and watch the kids and all that stuff and that whole rental would have been lost like I already know by now I would have probably gotten a total of four hours in the machine then it would have been gone and I wouldn't have gotten the yard done so I own the machine, I can work on the yard whenever I want to, and if I have more projects coming up, I have the equipment to do it. So I'm, I'm very glad that this is the route that I took, and that I picked a bigger machine. I was going to get the, the Branson 2400H, which is a subcompact tractor, like 20 horsepower, and then I went to the 2515, they didn't have it. And I was like, what do you have? I was like, do you have a 30? 3015 is like yeah I got a hydrostat model I was like okay give me that um, I was originally gonna get a backhoe and then I realized I don't need a backhoe um, I'd probably never use it just because I needed it for stomps and I could use a stump bucket so um, overall very pleased I'll uh, give you guys another uh, update and some action shots here later on see you guys